Hey everybody, it's Pastor Steve on the Inner Circle. Uh, it's Tuesday afternoon. Um, just wanted to kind of go over with you, uh, I guess, the, the debrief from, for me at least, for, for Pray South Jersey. Um, last Friday was a great day uh, for me. I really just felt like it was a powerful time. Very busy day for me. Um, we left the house around 4.30 and didn't get, you know, finished till about 9.30. Uh, once everything was, you know, tore down, packed up, and, and on its way. But um, sometimes, you know, when we pour ourselves out into something or, or over something, it's a good idea just to kind of take a minute, um, look back over it, uh, and just ask the Holy Spirit to kind of share some things with you about it. Now, I, I just really, uh, from from the moment we, we had our instruments set up and we were sound checking and we we're waiting for it to happen, uh, at least from where I was up on the platform, I mean, I just sensed the power and the presence of God really, really strongly before um, anything even began. And I, I just remember just being just so uh, overwhelmed by, by the anointing and the presence that was already there. Um, but, uh, you know, we went through the, the evening, uh, prayer was released, people came together. I, I believe um, it was about 800 people. Uh, that gathered. It was several different, uh, I think over 30 churches from many different denominations. Uh, you know, just just uh, just a good cross uh, section of, of the churches of South Jersey. And it was just just a powerful time. I mean, I just, uh, I, I'm sorry to say that uh, a lot of different churches of different races and different denominations don't do much together. And that, that's a sad thing. That's not good um, because we need each other. But uh, that night, God just uh, just poured out His grace on, on this event, so that we had such an amazing cross reference um, of, of churches and pastors and people that were willing to pray and people that just showed up um, in a great way. It was just powerful. Um, and so I've been just kind of just kind of chewing on it, and soaking in it, and just asking God, you know, what do you have to say to me about this? You know, because. For me, the lead up to it was, I was just praying for revival in my heart, praying for revival for the church. And I believe um, that, you know, the fruit's gonna bear from, from that night because I just the, the prayer that went up was just so amazingly good. Um, but uh, he started t speaking to me today. I, I, you know, I, I uh, kind of said, all right, God, where do you want me to go? I said, I'm about to read you know, my Bible. And he said, you know, choose Mark. And I opened up my Bible app and, and the, uh, the, the main scripture for the day is from Mark 11. Uh, I believe it's Mark 11, 24, where he says, you know, anything that, that you uh, desire. Uh, actually, let me just bring it up for you. Hold on here. Uh, I tell you, here it is, Mark 11, 24. I tell you, you can pray for anything. And if you believe that you received it, it is yours. Um, and that, that just, you know, has been just speaking to me all day. Um, obviously, there's a lot of things I've prayed for that I haven't gotten. <laughs> um, but then I was reminded of uh, there's a parable Jesus taught about this this widow who who wanted to get uh, justice from the king, and the king was not necessarily a righteous man, but uh, through her determination and her perseverance of just continually asking, continually asking, the king said, uh, "I'm just going to give this lady what she wants, so she leaves me alone." Um, and that parable, uh, basically, Jesus told her to say, "Hey, listen, don't give up. Keep praying. Keep pressing. Keep asking." And you'll receive. Um, and so I want to encourage you, you know, if there were things that you were praying for um, <coughs> or hoping to see come out of Friday night, and maybe you didn't see the actual manifestation of it, or, um, you know, you're not, you know, I, I, I think the dangerous thing for us would be for right now to just kind of take our, our feet off the gas and, to, uh, you know, to, to, to say, all right, well, we, we did our event. Now let's just you know, go on like normal, and I, I don't think I want to do that. I, I want to keep my, my foot on the pedal, my foot on the gas, and say, all right, God, I still want revival in my heart. I still want revival in my church. I still want revival for my cities, um, and I, I'm going to keep pressing in and asking you for that, Lord God, because I, wa I want to stir up the hunger inside me. Um, so if I, I think, if anything, that's what the Holy Spirit's speaking to me, you know, after we've come off the event from Friday. Um, is to, 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 to not take my foot off the pedal, to, to keep seeking, seek pressing in, keep pressing in, and keep asking the Lord for these things because we need it. You know, I mean, it, well, Friday night was wonderful, but if it stops there, it stops very, very short of what we 
uh, needed to be and what we what we need to do as a church. The church needs to rise up in leadership in in the, this time of our nation. Um, our, our congregations are looking to us. The world is looking to us, whether they realize it or not. Um, you know, good leaders that rise up at the right times, you know, the world will flock to. Um, but, you know, we can't be wavering between two ideas. We need to know what truth is. We need to know what God's solutions are. And we need to be willing to declare them boldly. So um, I'm back, that, that's, that's what's going on for me. I'm just going to keep pressing in, keep asking him for revival for myself, for my church, for, for, for my city. And um, I'm, I'm just going to keep on being like that widow. He says, you know, I'm not giving up until you give it to me. Uh, so let, let's take on that heart. Let's not give up. Let's not think the work is done just because we had one event. Um, and uh, events are great, but, you know, they have to bear fruit. And, you know, I mean, that's, that's what I'm looking for. What fruit is it, you know, bearing? And uh, what's the next step? What's, what's the next thing God is leading us to do? Um, so, so, you know, don't let your feet off the gas, you know, keep pressing in, keep asking God, all right, what's next? Um, so I guess that's, that's what I want to encourage you guys to do today. I have to admit, I kind of, um, just because of my, my schedule today, this is, this is video I'm doing at last minute and, and with a lot less preparation than I would like, but I, I do believe that's, that is what God's saying to me. So I, I believe he's saying it to the church, uh, overall. Uh, you seek the Lord, ask him what the next step is for you, ask him what he wants you to be involved in, um, and then you, you start, you know, seeking him on, on those places, for those things, for those places that, that he's asking you to take. All right, I'll see you guys in church, and uh, I'm just uh, looking to see what God's going to do. Each, each service we have is unique, and it, it's, it's been good. God bless you guys. Bye.